First of all, be sure to disable the System Integrity Protection or SIP. By booting the Mac up in recovery mode, press Command plus R buttons. Once you're there, open the terminal and type CSR Util Disable. Exit the terminal and boot into Mac OS. This is my dad's Mac Pro. As you can see, it's up to date with Mojave. No updates are available. The boot drive is NVMe, so it is shown as an external drive. Get Martin Law's OpenCore 0.5.9 package. Open Clover Configurator. Maybe you have to open with the right click plus control buttons. Click on the left side, mount EFI. Choose on the right side of the windows that the drive contains your actual macOS installation. Type your system password and the EFI folder will appear on your desktop. Copy the whole EFI folder from the package to the new EFI folder on your desktop. Open the EFI, then OC folder. Open the config.list by clicking right and choose the text edit as a favorite tool. Find this section and replace the bottom string with the above. Change this form, true to false. Save the config.plist. Wait a minute! Open the BLESS tool and confirm with your system password. Congratulations! You have done the Open Core extension. Reboot your Mac. If you have already a new EFI GPU inside, the boot picker screen should appear. Select your Mac OS installation or just wait 10 seconds. In case of an NVMe boot drive, what is always recognized as external drive when macOS is started. You should notice that your system drive icon has changed already to the system symbol of an unusual internal drive. Lastly, there should be a pop-up window which announces a major macOS update. Catalina, 